the London District Surveyors Association, otherwise known as the LDSA for short, held its annual Building Excellence Awards in the prestigious and historical settings of the Guildhall in the City of London. LDSA President Trevor McIntosh warmly received guests who were nominated for awards. The guest speaker, Lord Howie of Troon, gave out the awards to all the winners and to the runners-up. The LDSA is a respected body with 165 years of experience of building in London. The association has long-standing affiliations with a number of other leading professional and government-based bodies who have an interest in the built environment. Its members consist of all London local authority-based building control bodies, as well as Belfast City Council, Northern Ireland. There are 11 categories of awards. In each category there will be a winner, and in some categories there are runners-up. And uh, the winners will receive a trophy and a certificate. The awards have become an annual event since 2004 and celebrates the success of professional design and construction groups in achieving what the association sees as building excellence. Completed projects are judged by a select group belonging to the LDSA panel. The main categories of award range from Best Educational Project to Best Social Affordable Housing Project but includes another nine other distinct award categories. Full details of all winners and runners-up will be published on the association's website as well as in a number of leading professional magazines. The association is closely involved with central government and industry to enhance the construction profession and the quality of the built environment and acknowledges that events such as this one will be a regular and essential item on its yearly calendar. I'm here with uh, Trevin McIntosh, the current president of the LDSA, uh, who was recently elected in 2010. What month? Yes, indeed. March. In, Mar in March 2010. We're over at the Guildhall in the crypt for the Built in Quality Awards of 2010, where we've had a really great evening here in, um, at Guildhall in the, in the lower level of it, isn't it? The, the actual crypt. crypt. Yes. And um, I just want to ask you a question, actually, in terms of um, how important it is for the, uh, for the LDSA. LDSA and of course for local authority building control to be involved in, in, in the promotion of success and of course uh, uh, quality itself. Well, if you think about the number of buildings that are built within London, local authority building control, the LDSA contribute to all of those buildings to represent quality, safety, sustainability within those buildings. And you can see our client base here appreciates the work we do and we just give them something back by offering them an award for the buildings they produce. Um, I take it this is an annual event and um, I take it the nominations uh, for, for, for such events are done when during the year? We normally closing date is after the end of the year so February time the nominations come in they're judged during March and April and then the award ceremony takes place in May. Okay. Great, thanks very much. I'm here with uh, Tony Fenton, who's the LDSA's marketing chairman. And I just want to ask him a little bit about um, the actual how building control is promoted at the moment in terms of uh, what, what the services they offer and the importance of local authority building control in today's market. Hmm. Uh, I think because uh, building control is... Uh, is unusual for a, uh, a legislative statutory unit in that we are in competition, then I think it is important that we, we put ourselves across to customers so they're actually aware that, uh, that local authorities do do this because I, I, I believe that a lot of uh, particularly young, younger uh, professionals actually think approved inspectors are the people who provide the service. Mm -hmm. And so it's important that building control, local authority building control actually tell them that there is a service there by the local authority.